Hey guys, so we're going to continue on with the circle here. And we're going to look at a very common question, and that is whether a point is inside or outside a circle. And what I mean by that is that if we have a circle like this, center here, we could have three situations. We could have a point inside the circle, on the circle, or outside the circle. So if you look here, and we don't need to worry too much about all the writing here, this is having a circle with a point that's inside it, right? And we know that the distance from the center to the point is less than the radius then. Because remember, the radius is this. So if the distance from the center to the point is less than the radius, then it's inside the circle. If the distance from the center to the point is the same as the radius, then the point lies on the circle. So it lies anywhere on the circumference of the circle there. And the third thing we could have is that if the distance from the point to the origin here, or the center of the circle, is greater than the radius, then the point is outside the circle. So there are three situations we can have. And what we're going to do is going to look at how we would prove this. Very common question when it comes to the leading circle. So in some form or another, you will get a question that says, is this point inside, outside, or on the circle? There's two different methods. So this is the first method. And what we have here is we've got two points, and it's asking us, are these points inside, outside, or on the circle? And it gives us the equation of the circle here. Now this is, before we start, we're going to write down the center of this equation. So the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to 13. So the important piece of information here is that if you look, this doesn't have the usual circle look about it. x minus k squared, y minus h squared, and it doesn't have the points. So normally you'd have x minus 4 squared or uh, y minus 3 squared. It has nothing there. And that means that the center of this circle is 0, 0. So if it's just x squared and y squared, the center is 0, 0. The radius is the square root of 13. Okay? You can change it to this one if you want, but we'll leave it at the square root of 13 for the moment. And the reason we know that is because, remember the equation of the circle is x squared plus y squared is equal to r squared. So r squared is 13, so we're going to take the square root of it. So let's start off with the first point here. So we've got 1 and minus 3. And again, I'm just going to label this x1, y1, like I always do. Now, I know that if this is less than the distance from this to the origin here is less than the square root of 13, then it's inside. I know if the distance from here to here is the same as the square root of 13, then it's on the circle. And I know if the distance from here to here is greater than the square root of 13, it's outside the circle. So what we have here is we've got a circle like this, got 0, 0, and we know the distance from here to here is the square root of 13. So let's work out where these points are. I'm going to use my origin as the second point, so 0, 0 there, and I'm going to use that as x2, y2. And I'm going to use my distance of a line formula, because the distance of a line formula will give me the distance from center to my point. So the formula for that is the square root of x2 minus x1, all to be squared, plus y2 minus y1, all to be squared. It's given to you in the exam as well. Let's sub in the min. So I'm going to do the square root of 0 minus 1, all to be squared, plus 0 minus, and remember, that's a minus calculator and you're going to get the square root of 10 then. You can change it to decimals if you want. So I know that the square root of 10 is less than the square root of 13, so this must be inside the circle. The square root of 10 is less than the square root of 13, must be inside the circle. So it lies somewhere in here. And the distance from the center to that is the square root of 10. Let's have a look at the second one. So the second one here, 3 minus 2. So we've got 3 minus 2. And what I'm going to write is, well, 
this last time, so I'm going to write x1, p1, 1, 1, and then I'm going to put 0, 0 in there. And that is x2, y2. And again, I'm going to sub it into my formula here. I'm going to sub it into my distance form. So the square root of x2 minus x1, 0 minus 3, all to be squared, plus y2 minus y1, 0 minus minus 2, all to be squared. Well, put that into your calculator and you're going to get the square root of 13. And that means that distance from the centre to this point is the same as the radius, so that's going to be on the circle. So that point could be anywhere, it could be here, and I know the distance from here to here is the square root of 13, it's the same as the radius, so it is going to be on the circle. Let's have a look at a slightly different way of going about this question. This is the traditional method, you don't have to be able to do both methods, I would normally advise you to use this method, but there is a slightly different way in which you can go about answering questions, so we'll have a quick look at that. So don't worry now if you don't understand both methods. If you understand one method, in particular this one, that's enough to get you through. But if you do understand the second method, where you might say there's a little bit of time when it comes to doing these questions, but not much. So this one's complicated here, and this is where we might lose a few people, that's okay. It says x squared plus y squared is less than or squared. The point is inside the circle. That means that if we take our x and y coordinate, we square them, and it's less than the radius squared, then it's going to be inside the circle. Again, if x squared and y squared are taking our x and y coordinate is equal to or squared, then the point is on the circle. And finally, we have x squared plus y squared is greater than or squared. So if our x and our y coordinate are squared added together, it's greater than or squared, well, then the point is outside the circle. So, we've got minus three and four here. So we're gonna call that x, and we're gonna call that y. And we've got a formula here, x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. So this is our equation of the circle. So I'm gonna sum this in there. So I'm simply gonna do, because x is minus three, minus three squared plus four squared. Okay. Let's see what that equals. Minus three squared is nine, plus four squared is 25. So this side is 25, it's all equal to 16. Well, is 25 bigger than 16? It is, so it's greater than 16. And the rule says that if x squared and y squared is greater than or squared, which it, in this case it is, then it's going to be outside the circle. If that was equal to 16, it'd be on the circle, or if that was less than 16, it'd be inside the circle. That method, don't worry if you don't understand that method, as long as we have one of them, it's enough to get us through in certain questions.